I met John when I was a junior in high school. My parents moved to Quarrel, Texas for one year. And he and Joyce and his little girls used to come to Quero to practice with John's sister, Charlotte, who was uh, the state champion from, ended up being the state champion from Quero. But uh, I subsequently, my parents decided to move back to Corpus. I mean, and uh, so that's when I first came into contact with John and, and Joyce. I mean, and they were, they were great, very patient. Of course, he was a good tennis player, so was she. Uh, he won a state championship. He played for Rice. Uh, he's a great athlete. Played football there. So uh, that's my first uh, time to meet him was when he would come to Houston, where he was. He was from Quero, so he, he would come there to hit with his sister and with me. And I learned a lot from him. Just as a kid growing up, I mean, being able to hit with such a good player in, from Texas. I mean, that's, uh, that was just a thrill, you know, and I've learned, like I said, I've learned quite a bit from he and Joyce, you know, during that one year period. Uh, then I went off to, to college later on. He didn't move to Corpus till later, and I didn't really get to know him until he really got involved with the Corpus Christi Tennis Association. And he did so many great things uh, for our community. He was very instrumental in, in getting uh, the, high school coaches and junior high coaches in the system. He was uh, instrumental as far as getting tournaments here to Corpus. I mean, we've had so many great tournaments here, Southwest Conference, NCAA Championships, uh, the Handsome Eight back then. Uh, plus, he was a great advocate for tennis as far as facilities were concerned. Very instrumental in getting this raised seating area that we have here at HEB and also the Mildred and Lloyd Sessions covered pavilion. I mean, he was very close to Lloyd Sessions. Lloyd Sessions, I think, was you would call was one of his mentors, like John is one of my mentors. Uh, but uh, what I feel like I got from John and others like him in our community was the fact how much he gave back to the game. And uh, so I always appreciated that. And. Uh, because I was helped along by the Corpus Christi Tennis Association. And he was uh, one of those people that always pitched in, always volunteered, uh, was uh, just, like I said, instrumental in getting a lot of things done here in Corpus to help us grow our game. He, he loves kids and he really, really, that was his, his mission, was to help grow the game, to help the youth in Corpus Christi. I describe him like, everybody else who does know him is that man what a great guy you know what a nice guy you know he's always got a smile on his face he's upbeat uh, friendly you know and just when you get around him you just feel those positive vibes that come from him and so he's just uh, a great guy to be around with him we, we still go out every once in a while and meet at a Whataburger and have breakfast and talk about what's going on and and uh, and tennis, not only in town, but in the section. Uh, he was very involved in the section, uh, president of the USTA Texas section, uh, served on many national committees. So, I mean, he's been at all levels as far as the volunteer is concerned. And as a player, he and Joyce were one of the best husband-wife teams in the state. So, I mean, he's uh, just got a great tennis background, you know, and uh, just a great guy to be around and just uh, very appreciative of all he's done for tennis, not only in Corpus, but in Texas. Congratulations, John, on being inducted into the Texas Tennis Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zimmerman. Hip, hip, hooray!